had to fly my parents down to the U.S. because my father got a scan revealing he had liver cancer and he went months in the Canadian healthcare system with no follow-ups. All right, so so there's your Canadian healthcare system for you. And you know what? I'm not saying the American healthcare system is perfect, but I am sick and tired of the narrative that because Canadians have government healthcare, they're not able to contribute to the healthcare debate. That is the opposite of what is needed because socialists like you are under the assumption that everything is a utopia. It's all fairy tales and roses in Canada because we have this beloved government system and that is not the case. People die up here waiting for care. And you know what? Okay, okay. I mean, I, okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <sighs> okay. It's, I'm really sad for your dad. Okay? I know how that feels. I lost my mom to cancer. And I hope things get better. But that was so... How could I say this? Because her dad is... Her dad has cancer and I don't want to be insensitive. God damn it. Okay. Other than the fact that... I hope your dad recovers and I'm so sorry that you are suffering and you're sad that your dad, like, is really bad. I know I can, I can relate. I can relate. I can really relate. Okay? I, I, you know, I went through this myself. It's really, really, really horrible. But that was a bunch of bull crap. That was anecdotal evidence. That is not, and that was a misframing of what the other side is saying. Are you serious right now? Nobody was saying, nobody said people don't die in Canada. Nobody was saying it was all rosy and butterflies. Nobody's saying like there's no, nobody come. And your anecdote doesn't explain, doesn't prove anything. People are talking about. I mean, if that is if that is proof of anything, can can I go to United States and find a whole bunch of other people that can't afford healthcare and because they couldn't afford healthcare and now their dad has cancer and their dad is dying from cancer and they can't afford the medication and they're crying? Would that prove their point? Because what happened to facts and data and not feelings? What happened to facts over feelings? What happened to facts over feelings? Because it's about trends. It's about oh, it's about adjusting per population how many people have access to proper healthcare in the United States compared to Canada. It's not about not a single person not suffering. There's no system right now until until we get. Until we reach Star Trek level society, okay, there you wouldn't be able to find a single system that provides the best care to everybody, at regardless of their income. You're not gonna get that, okay, right? So it's about trade-offs rather than solutions and to be able to figure out which system is better what you do is instead of looking at anecdotal evidence of people in canada or united states that didn't manage to get the health care they need what you do is you look at overall data and not even date not even raw data because you guys guys you guys you know in the live chat you guys suck at analyzing data. I suck at analyzing data. That's why we look at research, peer-reviewed research that analyzes the data rather than looking at the raw data ourselves. This is not how you come like, why was this? Okay, again, I'm so sorry for your dad, but you cannot use this as, a, as an example. Again, and this is such a straw man. Let's go through this one more time. Hold on. With no follow-ups, all right? With no follow-ups. And again, my mom actually went through the Canadian healthcare system as well. And to be fair, it was, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring um, that up because I don't think that proves anything. 
there is healthcare. I just had to fly my parents down to the US because my father got a scan revealing he had liver cancer and he went months in the Canadian healthcare system with no follow-ups. All right, so here's the thing. To people that can't afford flying their dad up down to the US or, by, or the other way around, okay? To people that can't afford any of this healthcare, okay? So maybe to people that have more access to wealth, maybe for them, United States would be better than Canada, okay? But somebody with no access to money that they could spend on healthcare, as bad as the waiting times are in Canada, would they be better off in United States that, or Canada? I think for people with no money, late might be better than never. All right, so, so there's your Canadian healthcare system for you. And you know what? I'm not saying the American healthcare system is perfect, but I am sick and... Okay, nobody is saying it's perfect, but that's, we could say that to you too. Because you're, you just said, okay, see, she's saying, I'm not saying that the United States healthcare system is perfect, okay? Is it's, first of all, it's not about which one is perfect. No, none of them is perfect. It's about which one helps the highest number of people. Perfect, but I am sick and tired of the narrative that because Canadians have government health care, they're not able to contribute to the health care debate. That is the opposite of what is needed because socialists like you are under the assumption that everything is a utopia. It's all fairy tales and roses in Canada. Did you see what just happened? Do you see the hypocrisy? She said that I am not saying that the American health care system is perfect, but I'm but I'm going to pretend like you said that the Canadian healthcare system is perfect. So G G in just a few seconds, she, she did, she, she tried to defend herself, she, she, she tried to do the clarification on what her position is, while strawmanning the other side exactly the way that she doesn't want to be strawman. So like, hey, but let's be clear, I'm not saying the American healthcare system is perfect, but you guys are saying Canadian healthcare system is perfect. Where? Where do they say it's perfect? God damn it. A dirty dancer is saying, is there private insurance in Canada? Only for non-essential stuff, yes. You don't need insurance for essential stuff. Like for example, for um, some, I don't know, for like stuff that is cosmetic, you need private insurance. Because we have this beloved government system and that is so for example one thing that the healthcare in canada is not perfect at all about is that it doesn't cover the cost of medicine you have to actually buy your own medicine right and it doesn't cover dental and dental like in fact dental is essential for a lot of people that's not the case people die up here waiting for care and you know what one of the reasons why our healthcare system is so inundated in Canada is because we have taken on waves and waves of migrants who are now using the healthcare system. That no, come on, that's an exaggeration. Canada has been very good with their migration policy. They have not paid into. So, yeah, here here is a That has okay, the migration okay, first of all, Canada's migration policy is very great and the, the even the some of the mis mistakes that they made has has had very little impact on the cost of healthcare. Too so yeah. Here here is a mixed race person living in Canada who has some thoughts about healthcare. Is is that all right with you, white American? Do do I have your permission to share these opinions? Okay, that's fair, Lauren. Uh, she she can't tell you like she like oh look at this Canadian commenting about America. Yeah, Canadians are. I mean, Canadians can talk about America as much as they want. And by the way, none of this should be construed as me defending the American healthcare system. I mean, the American healthcare system as it is right now was put in place by the Democrats. So why would I? It just frustrates me when people defend a system like Canada's that they are clearly so uninformed about. Come on, Canada, as, much, as flawed as Canada's healthcare system is, is so much better than the United States Canada's uh, United States healthcare system. Canada's healthcare system is definitely, by every metric, okay, better than United States healthcare system. Yes, there are many problems with it, 
But come on, you Americans, the healthcare system in the United States is so bad. I mean, compared to every single other civil advanced country out there, United States is like last. Okay, so you, you keep pretending like, oh, yeah, yeah, Canada has problems. And nobody's saying Canada doesn't have problems with their healthcare system. They're just saying it's relatively better.